Hello Knife community, welcome back to MLM, Mountain Lions Mentality. Uh, today we're here to talk about a hot knife in the EDC community right now uh, from Vosteed, and that is the Vosteed Raccoon. Nice knife. It is a nice knife. Uh, Vosteed's a fairly new company in the EDC realm. Dad, you looked them Founded. up a little bit. Found it somewhere around 2021, best I can remember. Uh, the started off, if my understanding, they started off a little bit in the uh, kitchen cutlery world and uh, had moved over into the EDC world. A uh, few fixed blades, uh, not many, I don't think, at this point in time, but uh, uh, some quality stuff, uh, from what I can tell, coming coming from Vosti. Absolutely, and I think that uh, also shows with the popularity of the nightshade the raccoon the gator the thunderbird oh. basically all the knives they're coming out with right now are, are hot so all good quality knives in my opinion as well absolutely so uh, i don't know what you know they are made in china uh, whether that bothers anybody or not uh, it shouldn't uh, uh it's, it's some, some very high quality in my opinion uh, especially at the price point that they're hitting there at around the 60 dollar mark for the raccoon all right, yep. So let's uh, show everybody real quick. This is the uh, Vosteed Raccoon. It's the crossbar lock in green micarta, the satin finish on the blade. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty knife there. And uh, so with that, uh, We'll talk about the uh, the packaging that the yeah. the, the raccoon came in. Uh, I think they do a good job with their packaging. I think it justifies being talked about. It's, uh, so the raccoon, maybe all Vostees, but they come in a nice little tin. It's here. almost like rubberized. Don't feel on the yeah, outside. Yeah, it does it's, have a, a nice feel to it, and it's uh, it's a metal tin or uh, tin there, but uh, better than just you know your flimsy cardboard boxes that a lot of stuff comes in. Um, and then beside the tin, you get a pouch with a Velcro to put your patches on. Uh, Inside of that pouch is nice too. I mean, yeah, if you like yeah. orange, it's really nice. It is a pretty cool pouch there. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, they gave a Vosteed patch. I guess you put that on a jacket or something, wouldn't you? I guess yeah, that's what it's uh, for. I think a lot of people would put patches on their, uh, some people, backpacks, some EDC backpacks have uh, Velcro for patches and so stuff like that. So I you iron that on to whatever you wanted, then you can Velcro it off and on. Is that how I think, that works? I think that would work, yeah. Okay. Uh, you get a microfiber cloth, uh, branded Vosteed. You get a spec card there it's kind of a condensed spec sheet it doesn't yeah, give not, all the details but yeah. what you need to know highlights yeah, yeah. and uh then a little support card Fosteed support and how to contact them 30 day full money back guarantee um and then in my opinion the coolest part <laughs> i like it <laughs> a nice little raccoon sticker there it's a uh, cool looking sticker yeah. I don't know if you had the, the same book. issue with yours uh, getting the tin out of the box that it came in yeah it had a, <laughs> so it had a sleeve around the tin as well yeah. didn't yeah. yeah whoever the same guy that's, that's doing the tolerances on their pocket knives must be the, doing the tolerances Tons. on their boxes because I could I like never got that thing out of the box <laughs> but uh, it's here yeah, uh, yeah and that sleeve too yeah I didn't, I didn't bring the sleeve with me but it was tight boy <clears throat> so out of the box what were your First impressions uh, of the raccoon. First impressions out of the out of the box. Uh, uh, the green micarta uh, is what you know. I noticed first of all. Uh, I think they do their micarta well. Uh, it's not too rough, not too smooth. It has just the right amount of texture for me. Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah. So uh, I have the uh, green micarta as well, and uh, yet. Yeah. I think maybe you've carried yours a little bit more than mine if we hold them side by or yeah I've, I've used it it's a, yeah but uh, I agree it uh, the texture is is nice uh, it uh, I, I love my carta um, yeah, I just like the feel of it too and uh, I like the green uh, I get a lot of green tan knives but uh, I like the green 
So I actually have a funny story on that though. Um, I originally ordered the blacked out uh, micarta raccoon from Amazon. It showed to be available as the black PVD coated uh, blade with the black micarta and uh, shipping time came around and didn't ship. It was delayed. <laughs> uh, so it gave an estimated ship date for the second time that came around and it was delayed again so I reached out to Amazon support and uh, they said that that color was out of stock and offered me a 50% discount on it but couldn't tell me when it might ship I, I wanted the raccoon <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> knife, yeah. I wanted the knife and so I, I asked them about you know, switching the color and they Amazon support actually did switch the color uh, and kept the 50% discount. So I got a steal on the yeah, knife. Cheated. And, uh, <laughs> you cheated. I'm not going to complain, but uh, <laughs> I'm still happy with the, the green micarta. Uh, I chose the green micarta, on the other hand. Uh, that's what I wanted, and that's what I got. Uh, but I did not get the 50% discount. So uh, They uh, also have the <laughs> green micarta with the black PVD. Oh, really? I haven't uh, seen that one. Uh, blade, coated blade, if uh, you want the coated blade as well. I don't believe they have a black micarta with a satin blade gotcha uh, so carrying on with first impressions uh, opposite side of the pocket clip is reversible it's stainless steel uh, uh, good retention to it uh, you know I don't think it's too tight or too loose I think it's you know it's it's sit just about right uh, this particular uh, model is the crossbar lock which is uh, Kind of in response, uh, the original Raccoon, they had some issues with their button lock. Uh, they have since addressed that on their new button locks. Uh, I liked it so good that I bought one of their new button locks. Uh, but uh, the crossbar lock, if you like the crossbar lock, it's you know it's good uh, good tension on it. Uh, dual side thumb studs, um, nice uh, size lanyard hole if you if you like put lanyards on your knives which I do uh, and, you know, I hate the ones with the little bitty holes that you have to you know practically pry them through there right and I'm, I'm not as big of a lanyard uh, user but uh, that hole personally doesn't bother me not having a gotcha. lanyard in it either so yeah, yeah that, I don't have a problem with that uh, let's see what I think it's all uh, t8 uh, screws or the body screws T6? I or believe the only T6s were the on the clips. pocket clip, yeah, and everything else was T8. Uh, thumb studs uh, on the crossbar lock, uh, I, I don't mean to sound real picky, but they're you know, a little, if you were opening and closing the knife a lot, they are a little bit rough on the fingers. Uh, I've seen better, uh, I've seen worse. Uh, overall size of the knife, I really like. Uh, you know, I have. Uh, I wear large to extra large gloves, uh, some kind of in between, and, and the knife fits good in my hand. Uh, it feels comfortable in my hand. Choke up position is good. Uh, jumping, uh, you know, I feel like could have been a little bit more forward for the choke up position, but you know, yeah, we're getting we're getting mighty picky at this, that point. Uh, overall, first impressions, I like the knife. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely, I agree. Uh, my hands, uh, my hands are. About as long as yours, but uh, Your probably smaller. A little bit bigger than uh, mine. smaller, uh, I guess uh, overall, uh, uh, you know, maybe quite as long, but uh, not as filled out hands. Rough. <laughs> you got uh, working carpenter hands there, <laughs> yeah. but it still works well in my hands. Well, I can choke up, um, and I can you know go down here and the yeah the jumping's not. Uh, very aggressive it's yeah, there it's there it's it doesn't go super far up the, the spine of the blade there yeah. but it is there um, that satin finish when it's clean is uh, clean it off right here and put it back under there I think mine had a couple markings on it, uh, mm -hmm. it uh, still got it a little bit there it's a good looking finish on that satin finish and it holds up pretty well uh, I've used mine uh, and and that makes a difference to me. I don't like a blade to get scarred up, and it and it's and it's held up well. You, there's a few trail snails, uh, snail trails on mine, but nothing, yeah, nothing that would trail snails. turn me. Yeah, those two. <laughs> uh, nothing that would turn me against using the satin finish blade. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my my first impressions, I I liked enough too. Uh, I 
typically like reverse flicking enough, but uh, the, the thumb flick on this is just seamless. I mean, scary it, smooth it, action it on is. those. They, they really are. Out of the box, it was uh, a little, it was a little t tight. Uh, yeah. This does have adjustable tension on the crossbar lock. Uh, three settings. It came. Uh, came set on the medium. The I medium believe. setting. Mm -hmm. I believe you and I both. Uh, took it apart and changed the setting to the lightest setting and uh, I don't know over time if Omega Springs will you know wear out I haven't really used a crossbar lock with Omega Springs in it enough to know if over time that Omega Spring will wear but to me that's a neat little perk if they do kind of stretch out over time and become too light yeah you can move it back to the uh, tighter tension and maybe kind of get the same feel back to the knife that you're used to it was a little stiff for me too with those thumb studs being as, as pointed as they are if, if it wasn't for that i think the tension would have probably been okay but you, the amount of tension pressure you have to put on those uh, uh what do you call those things uh, uh yeah i don't know what you call those on the crossbar lock the, the <laughs> but finger, anyway yeah. <laughs> the pressure you have to put on them that you know with it set in the medium position uh it just was, was not real comfortable at, at the start. I imagine it would loosen up over time. Overall size of the knife uh, we were talking about, I think the blade was what, like three and a quarter inches, best I can remember? Yep, three and a quarter inch blade. Uh, overall length, uh, Vostige website is uh, 7.6 inches. We can put the specs up on the screen for you. Yeah, uh, we ought to do that. And uh, I think the handle length is 4.36. Yep, here so. are my notes. Uh, handle width, one point one inch a little bit you know, on the i guess on the narrow side from top to bottom uh yeah it's still i mean with my large hands it's still a comfortable fit but i have seen some that you know with a little more depth to them that way might feel uh, a little bit better yeah with a little more depth yeah. yeah for a larger hand but i think it would be great for a smaller hand and and, and, I, and it's not uncomfortable to me uh a couple others the blade thickness uh you got 0.125 inch uh, is the specs on the blade thickness there um, full flat grind on it. Full flat Man, grind. Yeah, get a little bit of flat up at the very top, but other than that, it's full flat grind. Comes in right at three ounces, 3.04. Okay. Uh, Vostid lists it as. It's a good carry weight. Uh, you know, I, I don't really keep up with the exact numbers, but I know it does. You know, it doesn't weigh down my pocket. So you know, sometimes I'm wearing shorts, sometimes I'm wearing jeans. Uh, comfortable in either one. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 14C 28M blade steel. Uh, all in all, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of 14C 28N. Uh, again, um, I, I have used this knife. I, you don't know if you can see you know, the, the snail trails in the photos, but uh, uh, it, the blade has held up well. I did get a little roll uh, on the front edge. Uh, one of the first times I used it, I have since sharpened it and haven't had any problems with, with that since. Uh, I don't know if I hit some metal with it or what, but uh, yes. all in all, it's holding up pretty good. Cutting through some packaging that had yeah some, yeah pack plastic packaging that had metal uh hinges in it is actually what i was cutting into and i don't know if i may have caught the metal with the, with the tip of it there there was just a little roll on that but uh yeah. all in all i would say the blades held up well uh it didn't take but just a minute to touch it up and uh, it's back to razor sharp again yeah i have some very light uh scratches on mine i've used it to break down some cardboard and that's really all that I've used mine for. I've not had to sharpen it. Still got the factory edge. Still, uh, still feels really sharp for me. Uh, and I hope that uh, you don't have that issue with yours again. Uh, uh, Vostid says that they're coming in at a 60 Rockwell, but listed as a plus or minus two on yeah. that. So I mean, I guess you, you're looking at possibly a 58 to a 62 Rockwell if you. Maybe if yours is rolling, you might that you might have got one that came in a little bit on the lower side yeah. there, but uh, that's still a, I think for 14C28 and that's a, a saying that they're targeting 60. I think is a, a good thing yeah. there. And it's a good budget friendly stainless steel. I mean, it's a, there's an absolutely it's one of my favorite steels honestly. Uh, uh, as far as the low end or lower end. Put, I'm gonna show the the button lock you've got yeah. in here as well. Here's the button lock. Uh, haven't really done much other than take this one out of the package, so uh, it's it's not it's not been carried or used any. But I really I really like the button lock. I, I don't have a lot of button button locks, but uh, 
I think I have three, maybe four, but uh, this is by far my favorite so far. Uh, no stick, uh, it's, it's it, you know, when you press it, it releases, and again, the action is just, you know, scary smooth on them. Um, it's, it's not stuck out so far that I feel like I'm accidentally going to release it. Uh, yeah. Just uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of good about it. Uh, and uh, so I'll leave it laying there as well so you can kind of see gonna, it. Well, I'm going to pick up and handle the, okay. talk about it in just a little. We, we can do another video on it if people are interested. But, yeah, the button lock, it's recessed, but it's almost flat. It does, and you really don't mm -hmm. have to push it. You don't have to press very hard to engage that button lock and get it to shut. So I might have to pick me up a button lock it's too. fidget friendly i you know i find myself just sitting there opening and closing it with that button lock and and it's more fidget friendly than the crossbar lock in my opinion if, if you like to fidget and, not, and i do <laughs> so, um if the, you want to do some comparisons for people sure and absolutely then, uh, yeah you go ahead i'll put mine down here i'll put the the hogue deca and you've got the old bench made bug out uh, very similar in size uh, to both of those uh, let's put them uh, butt to butt in there butt, maybe try to get them as straight edged as we uh, can pretty, yeah pretty i mean pretty similar uh, more of a leaf shape to the to the raccoon uh, as far as the blade shape which uh, you know i do like that uh, it's one of my one of my favorite blade shapes uh, a good slicer uh, it's it slices like crazy uh, point is still you know relatively sharp on it uh, you know, if, uh, with the leaf shaped blade uh, so there's your size comparison to the bug out and what'd you say that was the hogue deca hogue deca okay and then we'll do the you've got a spider co and i'll get my spider co too i can't fail my spotty flick on the pm2 this is a delica here on top and uh again let me try to get the butts as even as i possibly can here so coming in larger so here's the delica on top uh it's uh, a bit larger than the delica and obviously smaller than the pm2 yep for those of you that might have those what you got next uh, brought out the zt 0450 uh, again very similar in size uh, overall length I've got the Wii Elementum, and I thought it would be closer in the in size of the Wii Elementum, but it's, it's a little bit larger. Yeah, it is. A little bit handle length and blade length. Uh, well, let's look at the cutting edge there. Yeah, cutting edge is a little bit longer bit as well. Longer. Cutting edge comparison here, very similar. Maybe a hair more on the 0450. Oh. Um, and then uh, I've got another knife in the elementum family but the larger elementum button lock 2 which it's a little bit closer in size to that maybe a little slightly smaller yeah this is a sog terminus xr i think it is yeah xr again very similar in size uh handle length maybe a little bit longer about the same as the elementum isn't it elementum button lock not the button lock 2 i, I think i said button lock 2 but this is the just the original elementum button lock okay um so yeah, the handle size is pretty close there. Maybe uh, raccoon might be a little bit shorter and the blade a little bit shorter too, but yep. came in between the elementum and the elementum button lock. Gotcha. And then last for me, I've got the Doug Ritter Hogue. And I've got the Kaiser T1. Oops. Good size knife. Yeah. Um, there's some some comparisons for you. I'll, maybe I'll have some of those knives uh, or something similar that you can kind of get an idea of the size on those. Give you an idea of what you're looking at size-wise. So I thought we might talk a little bit about uh, likes and dislikes at this point. Uh, I like to start with the negatives first. Not that there were a whole lot of them. Uh, uh, as far as dislikes. I feel like you know it's got a deep carry pocket clip, but with this much of the knife handle sticking up, there's still you know some knife sticking out of your pocket. Doesn't really bother me, uh, but I just felt like this could probably have been moved up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, don't know that you know it would have bothered anything had that been done, but again, uh, not a deal breaker with me. Um, 
crossbar lock, like we said uh, originally, uh, out of the box. Uh, we set the medium setting. I felt like that was a little stiff. I agree. Uh, we we changed both of ours to the to lower setting. I think it gives you again some room to move up as the spring wears out. If that does in fact happen, uh, you may never have to change it again. But uh, uh, I think once it, you know, once you changed to that lighter setting, I was it was just it was just more more fidget friendly uh, more than anything. But I would say overall, you know, kind of a dislike that it came tight out of the box. But overall, I like that you can adjust the tension. I think yeah, that's, I think, I think that's with definite the, plus with the crossbar locks. I think yeah. I, more are starting to do that. Um, I've seen that on, uh, the Kaiser drop bear. Uh, and there's another knife I've seen it on as well, but, uh, it's escaping me right now, but yeah. I think that's a good idea on the crossbar locks yeah. is to adjust the tent, be able to adjust the tension on it. Uh, I think uh, about the only other dislike, I mean, if I had to, you know, pick out some dislikes, is the jumping. It's it's, it's practically non-existent as far as you know aggressiveness. Uh, and again, I feel like it you know could have gone a little bit further on the top of the blade uh, for the choke up position. I about have to bring my thumb back to you know uh, you know back to this. It's not a real comfortable holding position. My thumb feels like it needs to be here, and of course there's no jumping out there. Um, and that was really about the only dislikes that I had. And I wouldn't call those dislikes. It's just room could, for improvement. Could yeah, could be a little bit better. Um, I like the choke up position there. I feel like I can choke up right there without. Uh, I, mean, I guess if you squeeze too hard, you could probably get it to you know, poke in a little bit there and worry about getting cut. But that, I think they've got enough of a choil there. Mm -hmm. I guess it's a should be a finger choil. Finger choil, sharpening choil combo yeah. is what I would call that I, really. I would too. I, it's I like that I can choke up and mm -hmm. not feel like I'm going to cut myself there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like the crossbar and I love the, uh, there I fail it, my finger got, well, I love that I can reverse flick or the seamless thumb flick like I talked about, or if you just want to flick it out with the crossbar, it's uh, mm -hmm. that lower tension, I, I love the action, I love the feel. Um, I need to carry it more. <laughs> I, but uh, use it more, I guess, use it more. I've carried it a, a good bit, but like I said, I just used it to break down some boxes. But uh, uh, I don't really know that I have much that I dislike about it. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why it's, a, why it's a hot knife right now. Yeah. As far as some of the things I feel like that are really well done on it, uh, uh, really everything about the knife, need to be quite honest with you, the, the look, the fit, and the finish, uh, the action, silky smooth. Uh, the lockup is solid. Um, uh, you know, I like the fact that they use T8 screws, uh, you know, on the body. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't like the smaller screws. Uh, I really like the filler tab that they put on the opposing side uh, in the area where you're not using the pocket clip. I think it just adds a touch of class to the whole knife. Uh, I'd like to see, you know, I like to see that on more knives. It's just. Uh, yeah, an empty hole looks unfinished to me, and it's also can tend to be a hot spot in your hand. I agree. I think for if you're trying to tend to lefties and righties, this is this is one way to do it. Mm -hmm. That if that bothers a, your righties, your right pocket carries, then I mean, I, you shouldn't. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not bad. I agree. It's better than having an empty hole there that looks unfinished. I think the other way to do that is when they uh, do the pocket clip, kind of cut into the butt of the uh, handles there mm -hmm. where the pocket clip slides in and leaving a hole for it to slide in either side of the scales yeah. when the pocket clips, I think that's the other way to do that. But yeah. uh, I guess that's this would be my probably my one dislike. I agree that you mentioned earlier to bring the pocket clip up a yeah. little bit for a little bit deeper yeah, carry. Here's, but. here's one that you know has a reversible pocket clip uh, as well, uh, but on the opposite side is just a hole. And, and it's the Kaiser Cormorant yeah, G10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I just think that would you know they could come up with something similar to what Vostede has here, and I think it just adds a touch of class to the knife. I agree. Uh, well, that is the Vostede Raccoon. You have any other thoughts uh, or questions? I would, or I would just say that if you're in the market for you know. A good budget-friendly knife, a good EDC knife. You know, I, I don't think you can go wrong with a Vostead Raccoon. And besides that, you get the great sticker. I mean, you know. <laughs> look at that! Uh, look at that raccoon with that knife in its mouth. Is, uh, now that I've made the video on it, this is going on my Yeti. 
front. It's front on my gun safes where mine's at. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh well with the with that with this beautiful awesome sticker. That's the Vostead Raccoon, and y'all let us know what you think in the comments and uh, absolutely give us feedback on how we talked about it and let us know what we could do better or what you'd like to see uh, what else you want us to talk about when we're doing these reviews hope we've helped you uh, give you our thoughts and opinions uh, again like we said in our original video we're, we're here to try to help you decide what to spend your hard-earned money on uh, maybe this will help I hope it does I'm Mike I'm Eric and that's the Vossied Raccoon and this is MLN thanks for watching Catch you on the next one.